hot Nigerian woman has called out an unidentified doctor at the Igondo General Hospital. Uh, she claimed the doctor refused treating her nephew after having an argument with the mother of the child. According to Admis underscore Dynam, her sister got into an argument with the doctor after being delayed for three hours at the hospital she rushed her child to. Uh, in the midst of the delay, the doctor further told her that he will not be attending to her child until the next day for complaining and arguing with him. After this video went viral, um, some news reporters actually approached the said hospital in Gondo General Hospital, uh, that's somewhere in Alimosho local government. And of course, the head doctor at that hospital tried to explain the situation. But before I get into the explanation, uh, perhaps we should go and see that video clip first of all uh, of the woman shouting on the doctor. Let's take a look. This doctor before me here had an issue with me, and he's telling me he's not going to attend to my child. He's carrying my case, my child's case to the next day, plainly because I had an issue with him. Can someone imagine Nigeria? You should be bold to face the camera. You should be bold to face the camera. Yes, that you want to carry my ill child issue for the next day. That you're not going to attend to my child because you had an issue with the mother. I've spent three hours here. All right, so that's the woman there, you know, she recorded that video herself and posted it online and it's gone viral ever since. But like I said, some reporters approached the hospital and the head doctor actually explained or tried to explain the situation and he said that the mother came with her 10 year old son uh, on the evening of Sunday for treatment and they began attending to him. But along the line, there was an emergency uh, that required for the doctor to go take a look because there were just two of them uh, on duty because it was a weekend and the patients were so many. Uh, while the patient was waiting with her son, said there was an emergency involving a six month old child who had a respiratory issue and was at the brink of death. Of course, uh, uh, the doctors had to focus on the child. The child died eventually, according to the story. But however, the mother, who had been waiting with her son, lost her cool. She lost patience, and she came before the critically ill child uh, being attended to, and that was where the altercation began between herself and the doctor, which eventually made the doctor to, you know, tell her, I won't even attend to your child anymore until tomorrow and all of that. But this is the situation. I do understand the place of emergencies in the hospital and the fact that we have uh, um, a, a shortage of doctors, you know, in our hospitals and all of that. But taking it from the angle of the woman who recorded that video and the explanation given by the hospital, I want us to actually talk and also pulling a bit of our own personal experiences, you know, at these hospitals. We'll start with you, Pastor Ayola. All right, um, I, I saw that video, mm. but I knew something would have happened before that doctor's reaction. Mm. But no matter what, uh, there are some professions that are attached with uh, humanitarian services, mm. and they should, you know, utter that word that I wouldn't take care of the, uh, the child any longer. Mm. And uh, because of the humanitarian service that's involved, there's a there's a lot of patient that's required. I have experienced quite some certain things whereby um, some patients will um, you know provoke the doctors and nurses, you know. But nevertheless, you, you have to be very professional mm -hmm. and uh, explain to the woman, oh, I have an emergency to quickly attend to. Then perhaps come back to quickly, or perhaps uh, uh, as, 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 I mean assign some nurses to look into that mm. so but I, I don't think uh, it should but I don't know what happened afterward if he actually attended after to, all this after, after I, the time. I, I, I think they found a way to resolve uh -huh, it yeah. but, mm. but for that statement already it has gone viral okay so it should be which it should be it's not it's not very professional mm. and I would have, said, to that. have, said, that, to have okay. said that Pastor Dolly well uh, I would watch this uh, I see beyond what just happened in that hospital 
I see a country that is really failing because I heard they say it's wet. Mm. By the time a child is brought before the hospital, one thing you must understand that the mother of that child, she will be in a condition whereby she may even lost her mind. Her she may mind not then was, yeah. mm -hmm. re ability to reason well mm -hmm. at that particular point mm -hmm. because she doesn't know what is going to befall her child. Mm -hmm. So that possibility is there. That is why the doctors are trained to be able to manage these people in a way that even if somebody is dying, you don't expect the patient to react the way you as a doctor will react because yes, I, mean, I mean the relatives of the patient to mm -hmm. react the way you the doctor you are going to react mm -hmm. so this woman was just reacting the way maybe every average woman whose child's life is on the line will react so for the doctor to react with her, the same way she reacted it shows he has put himself on the same pedestal with her which ought not to be mm -hmm. he is supposed to know better mm -hmm. not to react the way she reacted by telling her he will not treat her child, I think that for me was unprofessional. Mm -hmm. I would want to use the word that was wicked because you are standing before a woman whose child's life is on the line and you are telling her you will not treat her child. Having said that, I also believe even we women, we must also learn to comport ourselves no matter what is facing oh, us. Lord. Yes, human being, yes, we know when problem comes, but going, he did just explain another, she also should be patriotic. Because another child's life was on the line here. You understand? That could have also been your child. If it was a child that was that little child that was in that situation, we should not allow, we should not have uh, expected other no. doctors to be without, sorry from about the it, without meaning to hold forth for the woman, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, everything you said is true. Mm -hmm. But peradventure, she didn't know it was an emergency. No, well. And they just kept her. Precious. Wait, hold on, child. No. And they just kept her waiting mm -hmm. you know because uh, most times in the hospital doctors and nurses they just fly by you nobody's saying anything to you so you might that, really not know what's really that, going that, on that because i don't think any right thinking human being will see a little baby, baby, a dying yeah. little baby yeah. being rushed in, and then you know, yeah. uh, get angry. Yeah, I, okay. I also want to say uh -huh. that what i'm still saying is that I believe we are all in this country. We know that this country is failing us. Patients, I want to give you an example with myself. Honestly, I've not had issues with uh, these uh, government hospitals because mm -hmm. since I grew up to know between right and left, right, <laughs> to the very best of my knowledge, I can't imagine myself. I can't remember myself going, going to into a one. government mm -hmm. hospital. But uh, there is a case that happened to me outside this country where I had a gynecological issue and I went to the doctor. I went, they took samples, they were going to check my blood level and everything. And I left there, I went to work. They told me to come back in three days' time. But when I got to work that day, they called me where I was working. That because normally you go to the clinic first, you know, and they will refer if mm -hmm. it's a serious case, they refer you to the hospital. Yeah. So I was referred to the hospital. They called me where I was working, that I should go to the hospital to go and get myself treated. Mm -hmm. And the effect I was very normal. I, I didn't see any emergency, I'm working, you understand. And they insisted that they've called for your doctor, your mm -hmm. gynecologist who has left that city mm -hmm. for a different city. They sent a, uh, what do you call it, a helicopter to go and bring, fly him back mm. because of you. So you must be there right now for your gynecologist to be able to, to see you. And I said, no, I'm not going to go. In fact, I called my husband. My husband said, don't mind, you go tomorrow. I called them back. I said, no, tomorrow. They said, no, your gynecologist is almost there in mm -hmm. the hospital. Wow. You, there. you understand? That is, that is not my country. That mm. is the people that cares for life. Yeah. You understand? Where well, every case is handled oh, yeah. with yeah. urgency you it, it, it deserves. Yeah, all I get our that. doctors yeah. are no more here. Mm. They are no more here because I can assure you patients, they pay so much to go through the universities. I know some hospitals that pay, some of these private hospitals that pay as low as 30000 To a medical to doctor. To a medical doctor. I mean, so that is why some of them are no more in this country. So we don't have enough. And okay. there doesn't to be doing anything about well, it. Well said. Let me yeah, the to first part, else. I agree totally with um, Pastor Dolly. Um, it's just a reflection of a failed not failing Pastor Doggy, it's a failed society. Now, talking about um, a mother with her child being expected to have patience because mm. her mother, that doesn't hold water. Mm. Every mother, every mother's child is her lifeblood. Mm. You don't expect me to be patient with your child 
when, when my own child has an emergency. Mm -hmm. Now, the fourth system, this is what should have happened. Because there's a shortage of doctors, a nurse could have been referred to that woman panicking. So she doesn't to feel... To administer yeah. first yeah. aid. Exactly. Yeah. Left alone. How can you be in a hospital with your child? Over three hours. And your child is dying, in quotes. And no medical professional comes... No one is referred even to... Just to take the child away and go lay the child somewhere and administer first aid or something. Mm. They just let the woman sit. Last year, I was coming out of my pool and I fell. That was when I hurt my leg. Yeah. That day was the day I knew that this country was over. <laughs> because, I mean, something like that happened and I was alone at the pool, right? So when I fell, there was no one to lift me up. That I couldn't move because my right knee was totally shattered and damaged. I picked up my phone immediately to call 911 and I remember that I'm in Nigeria. <laughs> and then when I tried to, I just had to browse through. When I got through an ambulance service, I called more than 50 times. It was an hour later that they called back say, oh, I'm sorry, uh, ambulance, can we refer you? And I'm like, one hour after. Two hours. And then I got to the hospital that night, somewhere around, let me not mention names. A government, a tertiary institution that deals with bones and all those kinds of okay, problems. Okay, I think we know. First of all, when I got some, uh, uh, someone whose leg was badly damaged, mm. the doctor said, wait, put him outside. And then a doctor came out to check to determine whether it was bad enough. serious enough to allow me entrance into the hospital. Where the a jungle is better than this country. Calm down. The following day, patients. Let's do the chance. A notch. The next day. Down. Okay. After okay. having to spend the night mm -hmm. in a hotel. Mm -hmm. With a bad leg. With a bad leg. Mm -hmm. I spent the night. I got back to the hospital. I managed to get crutches. And my friend was helping me limp. And then I was calling on people, you know, one of the nurses came out and said, okay, follow me, and then opened the door to where the doctors were. There were three doctors sitting there like cocoons. Doing nothing. And then the nurse told the doctor, please, you need to see this patient. The man looked me in the eye. We made eye contact, and he said, I'm sorry, I can't. You can see I'm busy. I'm looking through files. And I was standing with my crutches watching this man. Hmm. And then I said to myself, <laughs> there was a country. Seriously. Okay, let me hear more. Okay. I'm sure everybody has had one or two experiences, you know. So there's no excuse as health, far as I'm concerned. Health sector. Go that ahead. doctor should be sacked and his license revoked for what he did. Yes. Okay, go ahead, Moki. Okay, I want to first of all say. Nigeria has not failed. Let's go. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you, Moki. So we can't be speaking negatively and we are expecting Thanks. good things Listen. to happen. Okay. There's power in the spoken word. Mm. Yes, we see the way things are, but we don't speak as believers. We don't speak. I, I, don't, I don't buy into that school of thought. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, let's, 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 let's get to the topic. Let's get to the topic at hand. Well, it is well with Nigeria. Amen. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Now, I had an issue with this recently, last week. My son was in the hospital, and at about uh, 4 a.m., he was coughing seriously. And close to the room, the private room we're staying, two, two doctors were lying down. And I would press the bell, try to get the attention of the nurse, and the nurse tried to call the doctor, they kept quiet. Hmm. Called and called and called, they kept quiet. I came out, I said, I am not paying peanuts here. I am paying money, therefore I need attention. And besides, if you were if I were to be at home and you say, okay, give the child this, it's a different thing. You can't be in that room and be telling the nurse, give the child this without seeing the child, child to okay. actually determine yeah. what the child wants. Okay. I feel. Mm. And I started shouting at about 4 a.m. in the morning. And I went knocking at the door. And the other doctor lying at the female doctor said, Who is so I said, shut up your mouth. Just shut up. You dare not say who is knocking. I don't have the right to knock at the door. What are you here for? You are here to attend to patients at any time, any time. That's what the job is. I said, maybe you don't, you've forgotten. It's not just a profession. It's a passion. Mm. It should be inborn. Mm. The feeling, the empathy you have for people, that's mm -hmm. what drives you to... Not just to become a doctor. Yes. Not because you want that title, no, no, per se. Because yeah. that's what makes you tolerate. 
That's what makes you endure with them. Even when they come talking to you anyhow, you endure. You find passion seeing people well. Mm. Yeah, Being a vessel God can use to attend to save someone. Life, yeah. That should be your attitude here. Not to tell me don't look at Get out of that place, my friend. Doctor, if you don't attend to my child, I will report to the owner of this hospital. Whether you like it or not, he quickly stood up. So why did he have to allow it to get to, to that point? Why? And because he heard me say I will report, later yeah. on he came begging. He mm. said, I don't need your apologies, I'm sorry. I don't you have acted unprofessionally as far as I'm concerned. And then when my, when I gave back to my son in Dublin, in children's hospital in Dublin, I remember he was there sick. He had three doctors attending to him. I was not there. I even caught ill in between. So I was hospitalized in mm. another hospital. So was totally children's hospital. Three. Each time I could say, don't worry, he's been taken care of. Mm. But unfortunately, it's not the case here. Oh. So for this woman to have reacted, believe in me, that was her case. Oh, yes, had no choice yes, to but to have shouted yeah. at the doctor. That's so. the I, I know reconciliatory uh, moves were made later, but that's already after the harm has been. Oh done. yeah, what if the what? child died? What if the child died after her waiting say, that long? I don't know. I don't see it as a thing of pride to say I don't use government hospitals really because oh, government hospitals are there to be used. Yeah. But it's because of the kind of neglect you in, know, the in the system. In the system, that's why people. Well, even the private hospitals are not even better. Like they take advantage yeah. of the fact that yeah, they yeah. know that the government hospitals That's are not working, right. and it's then, a failed system. You know, yeah. So it's I just mean, a failed first system. First of all, I think it's something the government should even look at. The quality of staff at government hospitals. I don't know if any of you have been in one lately. I don't know if they are specially trained to be rude. It, it, That's it, like you know, a general thing you get. Customer service culture it's in Nigeria zero. is zero. 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 Customer service is yeah. absolutely zero. Hospitals. Everywhere. Everywhere. Even everywhere. Even everywhere. Mm. everywhere. Mm. Mm. everywhere. Mm. Even you would be like, you know? Mm. Do you hear yourself? Mm. I'd be like, is there no other way to talk? You know, Nigerians are, we are the most frustrated human beings in the world. Our research <laughs> has <laughs> actually <laughs> shown, like, nothing works mm. you so leave home is to be driving on the road this morning i can't tell you how many people i scream that <laughs> frustration is in the air it just hugs you once you wake up even in your dream you're frustrated something has to be done and i'm sorry i don't mean to be rude i respect your christian and faith views but i don't buy it there are so many countries in this world who do not practice religion Oh, at an inch of what we do in this country. It's not a spiritual problem, it's a human being problem. Of course. People should tell themselves the truth. That's you have to yeah. do the right thing. Please do the Nothing right thing. is well with Nigeria. That's the, that's just the truth. I don't I think the most pleasant human change. beings on earth should actually be doctors. I mean oh, yeah. yes. Well, what are you Sadly, yes. yeah, it should be pleasant to people. Sadly, that's not the mm. that's not the case. Mm. I do understand the fact that doctors themselves are humans you know but but you are trained you know to take care of people you know to save lives and that should be paramount in every every situation should be yeah yeah that's the job that is actually the job once again so we can move on i think the government has to look into it we know the health sector uh, is not alone in all of these. Every sector, mm -hmm. you know, has their own challenges. But particularly because people's lives are connected, at stake. Yes. connected to this, the government yes. needs to take a look really at how, is. you know, this uh, medical personnel actually treat people. Mm -hmm. You need to just go around and take a look and see how people are being neglected. Oh. Nurses are hurling insults at people for no reason. Yeah. Uh, I remember a particular case when I was young, really young. I think I was still in primary school. I was ill and my mom took me to a, a close by general hospital and I had to get an injection. Well, of course, you know, kids, we are yeah. all scared of, even as an adult, when I hear injection, I run. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was scared and I was a bit jittery and all of that. And the nurse picked up uh, this wooden, this long wooden ruler. Oh my and God. Hit me, you know, with the ruler because I didn't keep my bomb bomb in one place. And thank you, my mom. No nonsense. She took the ruler and she hit the nurse back several times. She ought to have smashed her head against and the wall. You don't beat my child in my don't presence. The baby. What the hell? Because of an injection? You, you don't beat my child. And I think it doesn't have to get to that point where there always sense. has to be a fight between and patients and doctors. doctors. That, medical, that uh, chief medical doctor deserves no. serious punishment. Quickly, please. When, when I was giving birth in Dublin, OK, 
okay the baby weighed 4.3 mm, that's a big baby so there was no way i would have you know mm. delivered very safely and the nurse came i was like you're the most beautiful african lady i've seen mm. she started praising me i said this one doesn't understand what i'm going through <laughs> she's just praising me just to make you feel relaxed she was working yeah. on your side yeah. 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 so you you no get go get and check our general when we met i'll give you to bed you know what the nurse said that open your leg because <laughs> what are you doing here there what you are you doing it you didn't know but can you imagine my mom said no <laughs> 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 We have shortage of doctors, there's too much and pressure on that's them. That's, that's, that's not an excuse. Even even so so not excuse. Even really? Even really? Water. Yeah, yeah, quickly. We are talking here, uh -huh. and I believe people should keep talking. Mm. Like, I, I keep saying, we don't make excuse for these politicians. Don't. Because the only, the only part of this country, or the only sector that is feeding fat, is the political sector, the politicians, maybe National Assembly, State Houses of Assembly and all that, they are the ones that are feeding fat. But when you get to every other sector, mm. not look at the, the, the budget for 2020, look at the budget for education for the health 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 health, and look at the one for National Assembly. Yes. 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 You yes. 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 All right, last time, last 10 we seconds. 10 seconds, like we have to go on. Yeah, 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 so um, I just hope the government will do some things and um, even, uh, even our education system also needs uh, a lot of things to be done. Even in private hospitals, I just observed some certain things that always happen too. That uh, you, you just observe that some some nurses were just adopted from what they call this auxiliary yes. thing, and, they, they, were, I, and they, they were not well trained, so they don't really know mm. what they are supposed to do mm. as a nurse. It's That's a, true. It's a ministry. Yeah. Doctor or nurse is a ministry. So yes. and we have teachers. To, yeah, teachers. It's the same thing going on in our education sector. The same so thing. We just want to uh, let's just encourage our people out there to just uh, make things happen. Everybody okay. Story and I don't exactly. Want to we are all facing no some beds, things. No bed. Everybody no, wants. Yes, no bed. No bed. No space. No excuse. That can even even kill. Okay. Let's quickly yeah. look at how our viewers are responding. Uh, this one says that doctor should be sacked. I lost my son in a similar case like that, where the nurse left me and my child immediately I delivered to attend to another person even without removing the placenta ah, it was when I shouted that she came to remove the placenta and my son later died in fact I don't like talking about it thank you that one was sent on whatsapp all right back to text messages Ibironke from Ikeja says I could see in the video that the doctors were done already with the emergency because they were no longer with the child oh yeah this is a That's case true. of negligence mm -hmm. and I'm sure the hospital's report is not the right report it's what? They must have told a lie. Yes, I agree. Okay, this one says it's unprofessional and uncalled for. He's a doctor and he's supposed to maintain his school no matter any provocation. Are they not trained to save lives? To be sincere, our health system is in shambles. Kalu from Ikeja. All right, this other one says... Um, Good afternoon to you all. My name is Pius. Last year, I took my younger sister to General Hospital and the nurses did not allow me to see the doctor because the people were too many and my younger sister was very sick and she later died after oh, that. So there is nothing in the General Hospital. Please, once again, the only solution to this problem is for all Nigerian politicians to be attending our general hospitals. That is when the problem will be solved. This other one says it's a violation of the right of the woman and her child to be attended to by the doctor. Hospital personnel abuse patients in Nigeria unchallenged because of ignorance. Can this same doctor behave like this in U USA or Europe? <laughs> I bet not. All right, this other one says, good afternoon and to patients. Let's forget this particular specific scene and look at the whole movie. Why will only two doctors be in a public hospital where many lives are depending? If we say government, it will look like we complain too much. But whose fault is this in the general sense? This other one says, in Ikeja teaching hospital, you need connection. <laughs> to be attended. Yeah, to. because I'm not I mean, people have to bribe their way to see a doctor. Before you can see a doctor. It's crazy. 